sure to subscribe! to start transforming Krong. Krong! Krong, the green monster transformation complete! Pop the balloons and make Krong angry! Krong! Krong! in my 
my way. Crum. 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 Bring it on, Crum. Crum. How dare you defeat my troop? I won't let you get away with this. Crum. 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 Beg for mercy. <laughs> crung, crung. Oh, crung, thank you for saving me. It's not a big deal, Crung. You can call me whenever you're in danger, Crung. Oh no, it's an emergency. Press the button to find out what's going on. <laughs> I have captured Bororo, Crung. Oh no! Bororo is in danger! Spider Loopy to the rescue! Tap and hold the button to start transforming! Yeah! Spider Loopy transformation complete! Defeat the enemies with the spider web! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Pumpkin bomb yeah. attack! 
It's an emergency. Press the button to find out what's going on. Help us, Krug! Oh, no! Bad aliens are wrecking our planet! Toby to the rescue! Off I go! Tap and hold the button to start transforming. Yup! Toby transformation complete! Let's make a powerful hammer with thunder's energy! Yup! 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 The powerful thunder hammer is complete! <laughs> Let's defeat the hiding alien villains! What's going on? Catch me if you can, Krong! Oh no! Evil Krong has escaped from prison! Bad Eddie to the rescue! Tap on the hold button to start transforming! Yep! Bad Eddie! Transformation complete! Decorate the Batmobile! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wow! The Batmobile is complete! Now let's go and catch some villains! <gasps> Drive and avoid the obstacles. Yeah! 
Geppetto Poby, the lonely carpenter, lived all by himself. So Poby carved a doll out of wood that looked like a real child. I have finished. Your name will be Pinocchio Pororo. <sighs> if only you were real. That moment, a fairy appeared with a flash of light. Yikes! Hello, I'm Loopy the fairy. I have come to make your wish come true. Abracadabra! As Loopy's wand started to light up, Bororo came to life. Father! I don't believe this! Thank you so much! Now you are my son! Poby was so happy that he had a son now. Bororo, if you prove to be good, someday you will become a real boy! But be careful! Because if you lie, your nose will grow long! Yes, ma'am! Then with a spark of light, Loopy vanished. It didn't take long for Poby and Bororo to get along as father and son. Dad, you're my favorite! I love you too, my son. One day, the two went out to the sea. Bororo was excited because it was his first time seeing the ocean. Wow! The ocean is endless! <laughs> Do you like it that much? Suddenly, a giant whale emerged from the water and swallowed them up. Toby couldn't find a way out of the whale's dark stomach. He felt helpless. <laughs> Are we going to die like this? Dad, let me handle this. I hate playing! I hate candies! Wow! Every time Bororo lied, his nose grew longer. With his long nose, Bororo tickled the whale's blowhole. The whale's body rocked as it laughed. <laughs> it tickles! Soon after, the whale spouted water out of the blowhole, and Poby and Bororo flew out. The two flew into the air and landed back on the land. Whoa! We made it! Just then, Loopy the fairy appeared in front of the happy father and son. Bororo, 
I was moved by your kind love towards your father. I shall turn you into a real boy. Abracadabra! As Loopy swirled her wand, Bodoro turned into a real person. Father, look at me! Oh, Bodoro, my son. From that moment, Poby and Bodoro lived together happily. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Poby, there was a beautiful princess named Snow White Petty. Father! Oh, my daughter, the most beautiful girl in the world. But there was an evil queen in the kingdom. She was Princess Petty's stepmother. Hmm. I am more beautiful than Petty. The jealous queen asked her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? It is, of course, Princess Petty. I can't stand this anymore! Loopy was filled with anger. So she called a huntsman and told him to get rid of Petty. The huntsman followed the queen's orders and kidnapped Petty while she was in the garden. Kararang! Eek! Help me! Then the huntsman pushed Petty down the hill. Ah! I'm sorry, Krong. I'm scared of the Queen, Krong. When ah! Petty woke up from the fall, she saw seven dwarfs surrounding her. Who... who are you? Ah! Don't be afraid, Princess. We are the Rainbow Dwarves! What? Rainbow? <laughs> You guys are so cute! From then on, Petty lived together with the dwarves in their home. But one day, the dwarves were away, and a strange old woman came to the house. Beautiful girl, will you please buy an apple? An apple? Just try one first. Thank you. Oh no! As Petty ate the apple, she fainted and fell down. <laughs> Did you like my poisonous apple? Now, I am the fairest of them all. <laughs> Satisfied, Loopy returned to the castle. The dwarves took good care of the princess, but she didn't wake up. <laughs> I wish someone would come and help wake our princess up. <laughs> Just then, a prince on a horse was passing by. I am Prince Bodoro from the neighboring kingdom. I shall gift a kiss to the sleeping princess. As soon as Bodoro kissed Petty, she opened her eyes. Are you okay, princess? Oh, prince! Soon the king found out about everything and became furious. What? Lock away the evil witch at once! Oh, oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> 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 
Loopy was punished by the king, and Prince Bororo and Princess Petty had got married happily. <laughs> I love you, Prince Bororo.